So here we can we can take a look at the, all the list of users, or we'd like to maybe maybe return the um, a user based on whether we are able to log in or not. Right. So this login, what we can do here is is iterate and see if we can find the user. If we can find it, we'll return the user. If we can't find it, we'll return null. Right. So let's do that. So we're going to say um, you know for um, um, const user and users. Is we're going to say um, actually no this you uh, so if users sub u uh, dot uh, username if it matches the incoming username and if the users sub u dot password uh, matches the password that is coming in from the client then we're going to return the users sub u right otherwise. Well, actually, not, we're not going to return it, right? We're going to do a response dot send the JSON object of that user, right? Otherwise, uh, and and we're going to we're going to do that, and we're going to return. We're going to return. We're going to stop. We're going to leave the function. Otherwise, we're going to send back. We're going to send a status send status uh, four hundred four, meaning not found, right? The the whatever you were looking for, we we, we did not find. Right, and maybe send a uh, send a null. So let's restart the server, and now let's go back to our login. Right, we have our login, and we have Alice Wonderland. I think that's the login. Notice that it comes back with a four four because Alice Wonderland does not exist. Uh, but if we say Alice 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 does exist, and it returns the object Alice Alice. Make sense? So now this mechanism, we could use it from perhaps our Angular, right, to be able to uh, validate whether uh, someone is logged in or not. All right, so let's try and do that next.